Okay, welcome to another tutorial. This one we're going to look at the flash tickets again. This is another box. I've got my leftover sprue from the previous set if you want to check out the assembly. I've already done that. So in this one I'm going to take another box of flash kits and I'm going to take a box of knobs and I'm going to do some uh, kit bashing here. So I think what the plan is going to be is to use uh, the knob bodies, uh, the back side of them, and the flash kit uh, insert there for the chest and that'll help me get some pirate looking sort of things and then I'll do up uh, flash kits using the, the, the knob uh, chest pieces and the rest of the flash kit bits and I'll use some leftover flash kit pieces and all the uh, leftover bits to make the knobs look a little bit more piratey so they'll be kind of freebooter knobs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up and uh, start clipping out parts and then show you some samples of how this is going to work. So I'll come back with a whole bunch of bits and we'll glue them all together. Okay, so here we go with the two bodies. So this is the knob body with the knob front on it. And you notice that there's these holes here for the shoulder pads. There's little uh, pegs that go in there. This is the freebooter body. And you notice that the head has a, uh, a square peg there that the neck is going to go on to. So we have a little, couple little things we're going to have to fix up here. But first things first, we're going to uh, swap these over so these fit uh, nicely. So there's no issues there. Um, so let's get some glue in there. And I'm just using uh, Tamiya Extra Thin Glue. Any plastic glue obviously will work. So just give that a squeeze and there we go. And do the same on this here. To put the glue on first. And Okay, so there's a little bit of an interference on the side here. So I'm just going to... There we go. And that won't be seen because that will be behind the SNAS gun. So let's get that out of there. Okay, so there we go. There's the bodies all put in. Um, the uh, These holes here on the top, I don't think that's going to be a problem because this shoulder piece here for the uh, freebooter is going to go over top of that. It's a little bit of a tight fit, but I'll just squeeze that in place and it shouldn't be a problem. Um, and then the SNAS gun, again, it might have, to, uh, might have to trim a little bit off the chest just to make sure that none of these pieces here interfere, but that'll go on there and uh, that'll be that. So I'm just going to glue the neck on here. Oops. That's going to go in like that. And then I've got one of the freebooter heads and it'll just go there like that. So as you can see there's uh, no real issues so far fitting these all together. And uh, so there's my knob with a freebooter front half of the body. The back half of the body, there's not too much detail. And uh, you'll notice that the, the stance on this freebooter body is quite wide. So putting it on a 25 millimeter base would be a little bit of a stretch. So some of the freebooter legs are a bit narrower than others. So um, I'm going to maybe pick one or two of those and, and use them for the freebooter uh, knobs. So I'm going to go ahead and finish assembling this SNAS gun and uh, do the same thing with this knob and I'll show you what that looks like when we're done. Okay, so I've got the uh, rest of the flash kits all assembled. So this flash kit here, um, I was able to repose them a little bit more so you can see the gun is off to the side. This is a knob body from the knobs box kit. So the, um, the whole body there is interchangeable. I took the one hand out there with the pistol and I uh, thought I'd repose this arm a bit so I've actually cut it right here. It's the hand from the, or it's the arm from the knobs box that comes with this, uh, this chain fist, or sorry not chain fist, uh, chain, chain axe and uh, just cut that arm off there and reposition it so that I could get the guy kind of more open stance. In doing that um, the, the little strap that goes from the shoulder down there uh, no longer works so I took some uh, chain from the um, Orc Warbiker box set. There's a, one of the arms that has the chain sort of a flail on it and I cut that up and tried to reposition it. I've also got a bit from the boys box or it might be even uh, might be the uh, Luda's um, one of the targeters there and uh, but otherwise this guy is pretty stock. So the next one here um, this is another uh, knob body from the, the knob box, otherwise everything else is from the uh, freebooters box. So uh, if you can see in there, that's one of the, the chests from the knobs. And this is actually one of the heads from the knobs as well, I chose to do that. 
um, in doing the uh, putting the heads on there you have to kind of trim that knob back a bit just so that the guy can turn his head just a little bit more to the side um, one other thing is that the these little glyph things that go on the poles there's only eight of them in the uh, freebooters box so if you don't make another boss a captain then you're going to be short um, because the, the captain, if you remember from the previous one, he has this big uh, back pole there. The other thing that's short in the box is uh, there's only four... Sorry, the camera keeps going out of focus. Let's zoom out a touch here. You only have uh, four of these uh, targeters. Uh, the other one's a targeter squig. So if you don't do a captain on the other half of the box, or the other half of the squad, then you're going to be short one of those as well. So um, this guy here... What I did is I took a servo skull from one of my Space Marine sprues and I put them on a, the end of a toothpick, drilled a little hole, put some super glue in there and my servo skull is now my targeter which seems fitting. Um, you'll notice this one here is missing the glyph so I just uh, put one on each of these two guys and uh, that's it. Um, this is one of the uh, freebooter bodies I think. It looks like it is, yeah. But it's got a knob uh, chest piece and so for my knobs I've got um, sort of a mixture of chest pieces and whole bodies uh, so I didn't do 100% flip on those otherwise this guy here he's got um, another one of the uh, Luda's targeters and uh, just all the rest of the bits from the Fruibooters box uh, next guy uh, here um, I don't think there's anything too special about this one. I wanted to de definitely have another one uh, with the uh, the hand smoking the cigar. This guy actually doesn't have the tripod, so the weapon is either being supported by the strap there, or um, maybe the ammo is holding up or something magical. Uh, this is one of the freebooter bodies with a knob body front, and so the head's on there. Just actually, it's pretty straight because he's smoking that cigar. Um, and uh, another uh, one of the, the uh, targeters there. I think that's from the Freebooters box. Okay, and then uh, speaking of targeters, there's one from the boys box. This guy here has got, um, let's see, he's got a Freebooter set of legs and he's got a knob uh, front of the torso. Otherwise, he's all Freebooter bits. So that's about it. I, um, I should have put that glyph plate there on one of the other ones because it's pretty hidden down there but uh, when I realized that I was short I'd already glued this on and it, the glue had set so yeah that's uh, that's the flash gets half I'll throw some pictures up uh, on my blog but now I've got uh, 10 flash kits and uh, that's from two flash kits boxes and a knobs box and then I'm going to show in a minute what you uh, can do with the knobs um, just as a preview though here's a uh, Here's one guy that I've already assembled. So he's got the cigar there, he's got uh, the knob, double uh, two-handed uh, axe thingy, chopper, and uh, so that's a, a knob back of the body, um, but a freebooter's front, so it's just a nice uh, different looking front. And because of the front, it's got the freebooter neck, a freebooter head, and a freebooter arm. So I'll come back, I'll show you some more of that, and then we'll try to get painting these guys. Okay, so I'm done uh, putting together the knobs. Um, all I did was I, I put the heads on the bodies. I'm going to wait to put the arms on because I want to find out what sort of options are in the new Orc Codex. Uh, as of this video, it's not out yet and there's not a lot of rumors about what kind of loadout they're going to be able to get. So I want to make sure I optimize my knobs mob. Um, probably want some combi weapons, some power claws. Um, definitely want some big choppers like this guy's got. So that's the kind of thing that I'm going to try to do when I when I assemble these guys. I'm going to put some boss poles on, use some of the leftover bits. They won't have the double boss poles um, because there's no extra ones of those and I'm probably not going to build any. But anyway, so here's the one guy I've already shown him. This guy here has got a full freebooter's body. Um, you can see it barely fits on the base. This is the peg leg one and then I've got this head. Um, in order to make the head look straight ahead, uh, I had to modify in behind there just a little bit. I carved it out and then I used some super glue to fill all the gaps. So um, you can do a little bit of modification to make those necks go on straight. And uh, there's that body. This guy here, he's going to be kind of like a captain. 
although in a knobs mob I'm not sure exactly how they're going to do that if, if there is going to be a different knob or if they're all going to be independent characters or not independent if they're all going to be characters like they were in the past we'll have to see how the codex changes that anyway this guy's got a really cool torso he's got the bare chest there I left the head didn't bother changing that because it's got that collar and uh, so that's that whole uh, flash kits body again barely fits on the base but uh, I think that's cool enough uh, this one here has got a knobs body and uh, flash kits chest flash kits head and then I modified that head so that it would um, look a bit further straight ahead so I had to cut out behind the, the neck part that it glues to and then kind of reposition this and uh, glue it in place and I added a bit of super glue in there just to make sure that it uh, filled any gaps uh, same deal with this one here, got a flash kit's uh, chest on there, flash kit's head, and uh, still a little bit of a gap there if I focus in. You can see that I need to fill that in with some super glue. Uh, what I like to do is use, uh, I like this extra thick, or not extra thick, it's just uh, impact tough uh, Gorilla Glue. I find this works really, really well. The bottle is great. Um, it never seizes up on me. And then I use a little bit of uh, InstaSet, so uh, activator, accelerator for super glue. I uh, get that at your hobby store. And so you just dab the glue in there to make it look like you want, put the accelerator on it, and it'll solidify it right away. So I'm going to throw some. <clears throat> I'm going to throw some pictures up in this video at the end here. They'll be on my blog as well if you want to use those as guides. And uh, let me know if you have any questions or comments about uh, these knobs and flash kits. And hope you enjoyed this. See you next time.